Caleb Regan with Grit Magazine. Uh, and we recently had a reader question that uh, they asked, what are the types of poisonous snakes that I should be on the lookout for this spring and summer? Um, poisonous snakes, it obviously depends on the part of the world. Uh, North America depends on the part of the country, obviously. But, but the typical poisonous snakes, uh, the rattlesnake family, uh, copperheads, cottonmouths, sidewinders, um, and then a whole family of coral snakes. Um, that are found, you know, down in the south and southeast. Um, in my part of Kansas, the two that we have to be on the lookout for are the copperhead um, and the rattlesnake. And, and the timber, the timber rattlesnake is the rattlesnake that we have. Um, as its name suggests, uh, it'll warn you usually whenever you're you're close to it uh, by vibrating its tail and shaking its rattles back and forth. Um, but a far more, at least for me, uh, the far more one that I'm always worried about. And on the lookout for that doesn't have any any such uh, warning signal uh, is the copperhead um, that's that's brown and black uh, with a hourglass pattern on its back, um, which during like morel mushroom season around here it'll blend in really well with the forest floor with the uh, the brown leaves and and that sort of thing. So so there's a quick rundown of the the most venomous snakes um, in our parts of rural America. Um, if you happen, if you're in the woods and you happen to get bit by one of those snakes, um, you know, you see it old wives tales, western movies where people are trying to suck the venom out of the wound. Don't resort to those measures. Just get yourself uh, to a hospital as soon as you can. So uh, thanks for the great question um, and enjoy the outdoors. Mm -hmm.